One of the ways that people are trying to address problems with TCP is actually by deploying new transport protocols. An example of, the, of this is QUIC. QUIC is a new project that was started at Google. Google can do this, right? This is one of the fun things about being Google because Google controls, in many cases, both sides of both of your internet connection. So let's say you're visiting gmail.com. So clearly Google maintains this server and Google can make changes to the web server as they see fit. However, let's say that you're also visiting it with the Chrome web browser, which is pretty popular these days. And so now Google controls this end of your connection and Google controls this end of your connection. And this gives them the opportunity to experiment with new transport protocols in a way that's pretty cool. So what are they doing? Well, they've rolled out something called QUIC. QUIC is designed to address several well-known problems with TCP, particularly in certain types of environments that Google cares about. Um, so let's talk about some of the things that, that QUIC does. The first thing, so, so first thing is how do I get away from TCP at all? How does this work? Remember, you know, the, the, the transport layer, you know, I've got IP down here and that's fundamentally unreliable best effort. And then I've got TCP up here, but I've also got TCP's red, you know, uh, wild sibling UDP. No reliability, no ordering, the wild, wild west, pretty much just a very, very thin layer on top of IP. And this is what QUIC is built on top of. So QUIC um, is built on top of UDP, and that allows Google to deploy it. So the problem with these transport protocols is these are baked into your computer. Um, there is no, it's very, very hard to change TCP or UDP, but by building on top of UDP, Google can deploy QUIC at the application level inside of Chrome, for example. So Chrome doesn't have to change your operating system kernel or anything like that. It includes QUIC internally. So that's how QUIC is deployed. It's deployed on top of UDP. So what are some of the changes that Google made? So the first change has to do with trying to, um, and there's a number of changes in QUIC. I'm just going to touch on a couple of them, right? One change has to do with trying to reduce the number of round trips that are required to establish a secure connection with the server. So a lot of, you know, uh, in a lot of cases now, particularly when you're accessing email or docs or all sorts of things online, you're interacting with a, a secure web server. And that security is being provided at the transport layer. So in addition to the TCP handshake that's required to set up a connection, there's an additional handshake that has to be done in order to establish a secure connection. And so what happens what happens is, you know, I try to connect to Gmail and then it sends me back something and then I have to go back and back and back and back and back. And if each one of these connections is causing me like 100 milliseconds worth of latency, I'm in trouble because 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, now I've got half a second that's gone by. I'm just trying to establish a connection to one website. I haven't even sent any data yet. And so QUIC is designed to try to make this more seamless. So rather than saying, okay, you know, I don't know how many connections are required to establish a secure connection. Let's say it's eight, right? QUIC says, okay, I want to do it in one. I want to do it in one. And this is possible particularly when you're interacting with sites that you've already visited. That's one of the things that Quick leverages is I do a little bit of setup with Gmail, for example. And then the next time I connect to Gmail, I don't have to pretend that Gmail and I have like never gone on a date before, right? Like I know Gmail at this point. We've exchanged our information. I've got some information that allows me to establish a secure connection to this site quickly without going through this whole rigmarole that I would have to if I was using TCP. So that's one of the things about, about QUIC. Um, QUIC also does some other really fascinating things. So in, in certain cases, there are certain packets that are more important than other packets, um, maybe part of a website that you see first, for example. One thing that Quick will do is it'll actually, in certain cases, if a connection has very high loss, if there's a lot of packets that are being lost on a connection, Quick will just send important packets twice, right? So here's some important data, here's some important data. This is the same data. If I send it once, it might get dropped, and then there'd be important data would be missing and the client wouldn't be able to make progress or something like that. So to avoid that, if Quick detects that the connection is, it has a high loss rate, it'll just send two copies. Because if I send two copies, it might waste bandwidth if both arrive. But if this is important data and this can decrease latency, it might be a good idea. Um, the other thing that Quick allows Google to do is it's allowing them to take experimentation with 
these transport protocols and do it at the application level. So one of the fundamental assumptions behind TCP and TCP's approach to reliable connections is that this sort of one-size-fits-all approach. That one way of delivering data reliably is going to work for websites, for email, for every type of connection I want to make online. By moving the reliability and some of the features that TCP normally provides into the application, Quick allows, for example, Gmail to do things one way, the browser to do something else. Um, it gives um, the ability for Google to innovate in their different products in ways that are appropriate to what that particular product is trying to do. So rather than having to try to provide reliable connections in the same way across large numbers of products, Quick makes it possible for each um, different product to make different choices about how how it wants content delivered. So it's an exciting time to be in transport protocols. Uh, if you're using Gmail and you use Chrome or if you use Drive, you're already using Quick internally. Uh, it's already happening. Um, so, and this is one of the ways that we're looking at and exploring, and Google is exploring new ways to deliver content reliably and quickly across the internet.